<laughs> the Montana House of Representatives voted to censure transgender lawmaker Zoe Zephyr. Yeah. Now, the House Republicans banned her from the chamber for the remainder of the legislative session, claiming she broke the rules of decorum. Well, no. Th- what, what are the rules that say, mm-hmm. I don't like what you're saying, yeah. so I'm going to get a whole bunch of people yeah. to think like I think, and we're going to ban you from talking. Yeah. What point of this country is we have to figure out how to live together. Whoopi is right. This is America, and we just don't ban people from talking. That is evil and wrong. This country is all about the freedom of speech. And censoring someone? <laughs> Nuh-uh. No way. The House is voting today on censoring Congressman Paul Gosar. So, yeah, dude, this is what's happening because, no, you're not supposed to do that. When you do something, there has to be consequences. Yep, ask, because I looked it up, and there is no law. No. That. No. There is no because law. There the, is no law. The, the whole... That. Sonny Hostin, the smartest person on planet Earth and the greatest lawyer in the galaxy, looked it up. And breaking the quorum rules is not against the law. But no one said it was against the law. It's against congressional rules at the federal and state level in many states. But that was just obviously an honest mistake. I mean, Sonny's not perfect. And if we know one thing about Sonny, it's she has integrity and is always consistent. What I, what I think is, a, you know, it, it's been about three decades since someone's been censured uh, in, no. in Congress. Real? What happens is Gosar would have to basically sit there yep. and stand there in the well and listen to the censure. So it's very Game of Thrones-ish. Like, shame, like shame, anime. shame. Wow. It's very Game of Thrones-ish. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's so important and so appropriate because we've got to set the standards Well, we, listen, we 